I'm a cancer specialist um, and also a cancer researcher. Um, but three years ago, I also became a, a cancer patient. Uh, I was diagnosed with a testicular cancer and um, underwent treatment for that with uh, surgery, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, and all the tools of the trade, really. Having been a patient, uh, it was interesting to come back to work as an oncologist and, and see patients and try and put myself now uh, more in their position making sure that results are given to patients as early as possible so they don't have to wait for them. Um, being able to involve them in decision-making processes where those are, are relevant and also making sure they have as soon as possible a very clear plan uh, going forward. So other than working with patients, I do a lot of research. Being engaged in cancer research is what changes our practice, improves outcomes for patients. So the money that is raised for Cancer Research UK by so many uh, different groups but so many individuals as well is critical to drive forward the clinical trials and drive forward research uh, looking into improving the quality of life of patients. Uh, trying to tailor treatments much more specifically to the individual patient with cancer and to try and understand how the body's own defence system, the immune system, can fight a cancer. So personally I'm very grateful for the uh, support from so many people for Cancer Research UK and the funds that have been supplied for that research. Without that, my cancer uh, wouldn't have been cured, as it has been, and the cancers of many others wouldn't have been cured either. But with ongoing support, uh, I can see that we will get more cures, better outcomes for patients for the future and uh, I thank those of you who are raising funds uh, who are giving that support and allowing that to happen.